The very first limitations on interstate use of force date back to the theories of just war, which had existed since antiquity, but were mainly developed in the Middle Ages by the Christian Church, notably in relation to the religious wars, such as the Crusades. According to those theories, insofar as a war was just, it was legal. For example, according to a Christian thinker, such as Thomas Aquinas, a war was just when it was authorized by a lawful authority, it had ended to achieve a just outcome, and its ultimate aim was to restore peace. It was therefore theoretically at least possible to distinguish between the just belligerent, whose cause for resorting to war was just, from the unjust belligerent, whose cause was unjust. Once it was possible to distinguish between these two types of belligerents, thinkers offer gravitated towards the view that the just belligerents should be privileged to the extent that it should not be subject to all the constraints under the use in bello. The unjust belligerence, by contrast, was to bear the full weight of the law. This sort of argument is termed the asymmetrical application of the law of war. Despite holding a certain superficial attractiveness, the idea of an asymmetrical application of use in bello in favor of the just belligerent was a clear obstacle to both the application and development of use in bello. The first problem with an asymmetrical application of use in bello is that it could prove very difficult to establish which party's cause was just and would therefore enjoy the privilege status of just belligerent. This was particularly difficult because many just war theories involved a very personal sense of grievance, and so were highly subjective. Unsurprisingly, it was rare for warring states to agree as to whose cause was just. This is still valid today. The second problem with an asymmetrical application of the use in bello is that it runs against the idea of mutuality reciprocal assertions of right and the reciprocal expectation of protection, which is at the basis of respect for use in bello. Basically, belligerents were ready to respect use in bello because they expected that the enemy would do the same toward them. Any asymmetrical application of use in bello would expect one belligerent to respect the full use in bello obligations that its enemy is free to disregard. Given the importance of small advantages in war, there would be little incentive for the state with more onerous obligations to comply with them. This in turn would create the risk of a downward spiral in terms of compliance with the rules.